problems flashing on the screen is from probability see here a b c are aiming to shoot a balloon a will succeed four times out of five the probability for a to hit the balloon is four by five the chance of a to shoot the balloon is three out of four see here the probability for b to shoot the balloon is three by four and that of c is 2 out of 3. The probability for C to shoot the balloon is 2 by 3. So it's clear. If the three aim the balloon simultaneously at once, if three of them aim to shoot the balloon, then find the probability that at least two of them hit the balloon. So minimum two means, so minimum least two means, so it might be three or four or five. So there is no other chance because there are only three members here. Minimum two should hit. So maximum three also can hit the balloon. See here, the probability of A hitting the balloon is, probability of A is equal to, this is four by five. From the question, the probability of B hitting the target or balloon is, probability of B chance is three by four. And the next one, the probability of C hitting the target is P of C is equal to, C is equal to, this is 2 by 3. Clear? The probability of A, B, C not hitting the target or not hitting the balloon respectively are P of A bar, P of B bar and P of C bar. So, what is P of A bar? A bar is nothing but 1 minus P of A. So, what is P of A? This is 4 by 5. 1 minus 4 by 5 is nothing but 1 by 5. The probability for A to not hit the balloon is 1 by 5. And the probability for B to not to hit the balloon is P of B bar is equal to 1 minus P of B. P of B is nothing but 3 by 4. That is 1 minus 3 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 4. And the probability for C to not to hit the balloon is 1 minus P of C. P of C is nothing but 2 by 3. 1 minus 2 by 3 is nothing but 1 by 3. See here all the values are ready for hitting the balloon and for not hitting the balloon. All the values are ready. That is P of A is 4 by 5. P of A bar is 1 by 5. And P of B is 3 by 4. And P of B bar is 1 by 4. P of C is 2 by 3. And P of C bar is 1 by 3. <coughs> now the probability that exactly 2 will hit the balloon is. See here. Minimum 2 means maximum 3. See first, we are targeting for 2 to hit the balloon. See here, if A hits, B hits, C should fail. Fail to hit. Then only at least 2. 2 will happen. If A hits and C hits, B fails. See here, if A fails, B and C should hit the balloon. So, this is the condition that A intersection, B intersection, C bar. Next A intersection, B bar intersection, C. So here A bar intersection, B intersection, C. See here A fails, here B fails and here C fails. So this is the probability that exactly 2 will hit the balloon. So that is P of A into P of B into P of C bar. Here P of A into P of B bar into P of C and P of A bar into P of B into P of C. So all the values are ready here. Ready here. What is P of A? P of A is 4 by 5. P of B is 3 by 4 and P of uh, C bar is 1 by 3. P of A value is 4 by 5. P of B bar, B bar value is 1 by 4 and P of C value is 2 by 3. And here P of A bar value is 1 by 5. P of B value is 3 by 4 and P of C is equal to 2 by 3. So if I multiply the numerator, this is 12 by 60, this is 8 by 60 and this is 6 by 60. If I take 60 as LCM, this is 12 plus 8 plus 6. This is 26 by 60, so which is equal to 13 by 30. The probability that, see here, so, this is the probability that minimum, minimum 2 may hit the target. So, see here for example, I tell you one example here. If you, if you are feeling very hungry, if you go and ask at least to keep 2 idlis. So, you can eat even 3 idlis, you can eat even 4 idlis, no? So, here also, minimum 2 means maximum, how many members are there? 3 members maximum. 3 may also hit the target. So, I am considering probability of A intersection, B intersection, C, which is equal to probability of A dot, probability of B dot, probability of C. 
so all these three values are ready 4 by 5 into 3 by 4 into 2 by 3 so this value is 2 by 3 therefore the probability that at least plays a vital role here at least two of them will hit the target is at least two for at least two the answer is 13 by 30 and for three the answer is 2 by 5. So, if I add these two, this will be 25 by 30. The answer is 5 by 6. So, this is how we have to solve. And this balloon problem is also very, very important. And see, these are all repeatedly asked questions. Don't neglect. If you really understand, please take time to raise your thumb and pass it on to your friends. Thank you so much.